Diana and Olivia were born identical twins, sharing the same black hair and stunning blue eyes. They were a mirror of each other in every way, except for one small detail, Diana was born ten minutes before Olivia. It was a detail that seemed trivial at the time but would later play a significant role in their lives. Their father, Edward, was a devout man who lived by the Bible's teachings. He and his wife, Elizabeth, were active members of their local church. And they raised their daughters to be devout Christians. But after Elizabeth passed away from cancer, Edward's faith took a darker turn. He became consumed with anger and despair, and he lashed out at anyone who questioned his beliefs. His daughters were not immune to his wrath. He would fly into a rage at the slightest provocation, and his punishments were often cruel and disproportionate. Despite his harshness, Diana and Olivia loved their father and believed that he was doing what was best for them. It wasn't until they were older that they began to question his methods and motives. One summer, when the twins were in their early twenties, they went to visit their cousins, Jack and William. Jack and William were Edward's brothers, and they had always been close to their nieces. When they saw the bruises and cuts on the twins' arms and legs, they knew that something was wrong. After coaxing the truth out of the twins, Jack and William took action. They went to Edward's house and confronted him about his behavior. It didn't take long for the situation to escalate. And soon Edward was brandishing a gun. In the chaos that followed, Jack was shot and killed, and Edward was sentenced to 25 years in prison for murder. The twins were left reeling from the trauma. But they were also relieved that they no longer had to live under their father's rule. Years went by, and Diana and Olivia grew up, got married, and had children of their own. They rarely spoke about their father and tried to put the past behind them. But then the unthinkable happened Edward escaped from prison. At first, the twins didn't know what to do. They were afraid for their safety and the safety of their families. But then they received a chilling phone call from their father, who revealed that he had kidnapped one of their five-year-old daughters. Diana and Olivia were thrown into a panic. They had no idea where their father was or how to find him. But then they remembered a detail from their childhood, the fact that Diana was born ten minutes before Olivia. They knew that their father would never forget that detail either, and so they came up with a plan. Olivia would pretend to be Diana, luring their father to a hotel in a neighboring state where they could finally confront him. The plan worked. And the FBI was able to track down their father at the hotel. But as they closed in on him, Edward grabbed his granddaughter and held her at gunpoint. It was then that Diana, who had been hiding nearby, stepped out and aimed her own gun at her father. For a moment, the air was still. The only sound was the muffled crying of the granddaughter, who was caught in the middle of the standoff. And then, with a steady hand and a determined heart, Diana pulled the trigger. The gunshot echoed through the hotel room, and Edward fell to the ground. His reign of terror was over. And his daughters and granddaughter were safe once again. In the aftermath of the incident, Diana and Olivia struggled to come to terms with what had happened. They had taken a life, and they weren't sure if it was the right thing to do. But then they remembered the lessons that their father had taught them about the importance of faith.